The city of Minneapolis says 2023 was the most challenging year when it comes to wire thefts. The city has paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to replace streetlights after the copper wiring was stolen, and now thieves have another target. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell shows us why they're after electric vehicle charging cables and how the city is trying to curb the crime. That's why I haven't picked anything up yet. From stripping down air conditioning units. I couldn't believe somebody would do this to a, a veterans organization. I, it was just unbelievable. To leaving streets in the dark. I don't feel safe because I can't even see myself. Copper thieves are now also leaving electric vehicle drivers in a lurch. These cables at an EV spot network charger in South Minneapolis have been cut, replaced, and cut again. There's not even that much copper inside one of these charging cables because of all of the insulation. You need a pound of it just to make a couple bucks or less at the scrapyard. Meanwhile, replacing these cables costs thousands of dollars. The city of Minneapolis says they've replaced at least 44 charging cables and have another 20 or so to go. That's frustrating for everybody. Our car, which operates the EV car share program across the Twin Cities, says some drivers are getting frustrated looking for a working charger. There are also other challenges as far as um, getting materials in a timely manner. Uh, weather conditions and things like that. So it's not always possible to replace these cables, you know, within the same week that they are stolen. In an effort to deter thieves, the city is adding cameras, signage, and making sure recycling centers are on the lookout for stolen copper. Due to being a you know a nationwide issue, there has not been um, a single solution that has you know been effective at 100%. So we're still trying to um, look at multiple factors to see if together they can they can overall make a larger impact. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. St. Paul is also seeing cord cutting at EV charging stations. Anyone who sees someone tampering with a charging station or light pole is urged to call police.